Accountants and bookkeepers find marketing so, so difficult. So here's some questions that I very often get and some thoughts on the, the answers. So firstly, what are the obstacles? What makes marketing so difficult? What's stopping accounting professionals from growing their firms? And I think there's really three main things that we have to overcome. Number one is a lack of knowledge. Because we're not taught marketing as I'm an accountant. We're taught the technical skills of running an accounting firm, but not marketing. So we need to acquire the knowledge because I believe that marketing is the most important function for any business. Without marketing, we don't get clients. Without clients, we don't have a business. So marketing is so critically important. It's what differentiates us from everybody else. Uh, second is uh, it's a lack of interest in marketing. Uh, marketing is so important, but we're trained accountants, so we love adding up numbers. We love the satisfaction of reconciling bank accounts, doing tax planning, and so on. Uh, but we still, we have to overcome that. We have to, we have to get fascinated by marketing. And number three is, and probably the really big one, is most accountants I come across, most bookkeepers tell me they are too busy, working crazy long hours. And that's a common problem in the profession. So we just simply don't have the time to do marketing. And I was asked recently by somebody, uh, how do I go about hiring somebody or outsourcing to do the marketing? And my response is, you can't do that. Not until you've figured out what works in your firm for marketing, because every firm's different, and created the systems, and then you can hire and train somebody. So we have to as business owners, as principals in our accounting firm, we have to understand about marketing. And if we're too busy, the single biggest reason for that is because we are too cheap. So a starting point is if you haven't got the time to do the marketing, it's because you've got too many clients. So let's put our prices up, lose a few clients. And if you do the math, if you increase your prices by 20% on average and lose 20% of clients, you are no worse off. You are making the same amount of money but you've now freed up Fridays. You've now freed up one day a week to work on marketing. So another question is, how critical is the tech stack in driving growth? And I think that the tech stack is very, very useful. I wouldn't say critical in as much as a lot of marketing is, is based on principles that have been around for over a hundred years. It's about, marketing's about words. It's about communication. It's about how we communicate our value proposition to potential clients. Nevertheless, there has been huge changes in technology which have made things much, much easier to do, allowing us to do things quicker, allowing for the smaller firms to compete with the larger firms because we can now do things without needing huge, big budgets. So some of the tools and things that we can be using is, I'll come on to it later, but video is so powerful. And so uh, we can have a platform with, for no cost. It's called YouTube. So we should absolutely be using YouTube. Social media is a f such a powerful form of marketing. I wish social media was around way back when I was growing my accounting firm in the 1990s. We also know that content marketing is so important, getting content out there. And there's so, many t so much technology that makes that easy. For example, scheduling software for scheduling posts on social media so we can do it once, schedule it, and it all happens automatically. Also, email marketing is so powerful. And there are so many great email marketing systems like MailChimp, which makes it so easy to create emails in advance that go out on autopilot. Also, we can create really powerful uh, lead generation systems using lead pages uh, for capturing contact details. And there's so many different options for doing that. One is called lead pages. There are others like click funnels uh, and many, many others. A powerful piece of software that makes it so much easier. So 
I teach marketing. I do it as part of the Value Pricing Academy. I teach once a month something called Marketing Mondays. And so if you were to ask me how important it is to seek a trainer to help you grow your firm, well, I think given that, firstly, we have to keep learning all the time. It's critical to invest time in learning because the, as someone once told me, the day you stop learning is the day you stop earning. So I learn every, every week. I schedule time to learn something brand new and Anybody who's a business owner, an accountant running their own accounting firm should be continually learning. And I don't mean the, the CPE credits and doing the technical stuff. Yes, we have to do that. But if we want to build a successful accounting firm, we have to keep learning about the soft skills. We have to learn about marketing, communication, uh, and so on. And not only do we need to learn the skills, but we need to also have somebody to hold us accountable, having some form of coach, mentor, somebody to, that we can work with to help us put the plan in action. So if I was a practitioner again, I sold my accounting firm in 2006, but if I was to start again, what would my plan for growth look like? So this is what I would do if I was starting again. Number one, be really clear on what is your vision? What, what do you want, what's your firm to look like when it's finally done at the end of your journey? And I'd work back from that to figure out what are my medium term goals? What are my long term goals? Where do I want to be 12 months from now? We need to understand that because then once we know where we're going, we can start to create a strategy. What do we need to do to get to where we want to get to? Now, as part of that strategy, we then want to figure out what is our marketing strategy? And that means we have to be really crystal clear on things like, what's our ideal client? What's the type of client that we want to work with? We have to have that in writing, share that with the whole team. We also have to think about our, what's called a positioning statement. So now we know who our ideal client is, who we're targeting, what are the words that we're going to use that's gonna grab their attention. So we need to create the strategy, ideal client, positioning statement. Once I've then done that, what I then want to do is put the foundations in place, the marketing foundations. So one of the things that I learned many years ago is that the size of your income is directly proportional to the size of your list. So how many people do you have, potential people who you'd love to have as clients on your email list? And if you have a bigger email list, you'll win more clients. If, for example, you want to run a webinar, let's say, to teach the latest tax changes and you want to invite potential clients to your webinar, if your email list is zero, there's no one to invite. The bigger it is, the more people come and listen to you, the more people will then book a meeting with you, the more people you will convert into clients. So we need to collect email addresses, we need to build a list, and we need to have a list building system in place, a lead generation system. And that's so easy in this day and age because software makes it easy. And so when we got that system in place, which consists of a lead page, an opt-in page, we collect email addresses, we use a system to then send out what's called autoresponders, i.e. emails on autopilot that build the relationship until that prospect is ready to take the next step, which is to meet you. So we need to have that lead generation system in place. Once we've done that, then we've got the, the engine room, if you like, for growing an accounting firm. The next thing I would then do is the next foundation is when we, when we collect leads, prospects, and we wanna build up a relationship, and ultimately we wanna meet with them. And we need to have a system, which I call an appointment generation system, a system that, that pre-qualifies people, simplifies the process of getting high quality appointments. So they are, I think, the foundations of our marketing system, a lead generation system, an appointment generation system. And technology makes it so easy to automate and systemate, systemize that. Having then got the foundations in place, then what I would do is make sure I schedule consistently time every week, even if it's just a couple of hours to work on the marketing. That might be writing some blog posts, creating content, doing some videos. It might be doing some social posts, all designed to drive traffic to my lead page to build up my list. And once I've figured out 
some systems, I've, I've blocked out time, I've done those activities, then we can create the systems as well. What's the systems and the technology we're using to post things on social media, to write blog posts, to do videos? Once you figure that out, then you've got the systems in place, the knowledge in place to go and hire somebody else to go and do that for you. So those are the steps that I would take. Last question I will answer is, what do I see as the, the trends in the accounting profession right now that as a profession we need to be aware of? And I think the number one trend is this. One of the most powerful forms of marketing is video marketing. And this is something the profession is way behind on because we tend to be introverts. We hate the idea of being on camera. And yet this is so important because we're in a relationship industry. People aren't, it's not a transactional business. People are looking for an accountant or a bookkeeper who they hope they will be working with month in, month out for years to come. And people buy from people they like. People buy from people who they, they, they can see your personality. If they like what they see, then they will hire you. If I was looking for a lawyer and I went to two or three different websites and what I know from lawyers' websites, just like accountants' websites, they all say the same thing. But if one of them had a video from the partner that was talking to me with enthusiasm, with passion, with energy, and I was thinking, I like their personality, I would go and pick that one to go and have a meeting with. Video is so powerful. It's not that difficult to do. But the great thing is, because most accountants are not doing it, when you do video, you differentiate yourself, you stand out, you have a head start, an unfair advantage when it comes to marketing. And we can build that video into all of our different areas of marketing, whether it's into our lead pages, onto our, onto our website, we can do social media posts around that, we could build a YouTube channel. Video is the future and it's going to be increasingly the, the firms that want to be different and win the better quality clients are going to be doing that. And the question is, will you be one of those firms? I hope those thoughts help you. Goodbye for now.